There's a latest fashion trend for the holiday season. Supplies are limited. Number five, Pine Bluffs versus number three, Bighorn. This game being played at Lusk Elementary School. First quarter, Pine Bluffs wearing the white. Cassidy Smith's going to draw the contact and get the bucket for the Lady Hornets, who have tied the game up at four points apiece at this point. Then after some loose ball hijinks on the part of both teams, Connor Graves is wide open for the first two of her game-high 14 points. Her team is up 6-4. to four. Bighorn would hang around early on. This is Brittany Pop on the far side, and she'll pop for her only three points of the game here. The Lady Rams are still down 10-8. This next play was just too easy. Don't turn your back on the inbounder. Hannah Puckett deposits a simple bucket, and the score is tied at 10 after the first eight minutes. Second quarter, things would go back and forth for a while between the two teams. Andrew Baker was on the line when she put up this shot, so it only counts for two. She had a 10-point game, and the Lady Hornets are back up by two. Bighorn would hang around, but they never could take the lead. Puckett puts in another two of her 13 points, and that would tie the score at 14, but PB would come right back. Cody Ragsdale kisses the shot off the glass. She had 12, and actually, that was a sign of things to come. The Lady Hornets would start a swarm of points. Graves with a long two of her own coming up here. That would push the score up to 20-14. to 14. Here comes a fast break for last year's 2A Southeast Division champs. Graves is going to dig up another two points, and that makes it 22-14 to 14 in favor of PB. Pine Bluffs was hitting shots from just about everywhere. They had a hard time missing. Laura Gross will cap off a 10-zip run, and things are looking good with the score at 24-14. Bighorn would counter that run somewhat. Puckett is open for a basket underneath, and that starts the comeback. It's now 24-16. Let's get the big girl in here. Mally Wright, a 6-foot, 1-inch junior. That wasn't too difficult. The Lady Rams are still down 24-19. They would get closer. Wright again with a turnaround. She would put in 11 points on this game. That 10-point deficit would get cut to 4 as Bighorn went into the locker room down 25-21. Third quarter, Pine Bluffs would just unload on the opposition. Ragsdale gets a shot to drop from just inside the free throw line to make it 29-23. Actually, she was on a streak of her own, and PB was benefiting from it. Here's another bucket off of a fast break. That made the score 35-23. Here comes some defense and transition. Smith will steal the inbounds pass, and she'll take off the other way for an easy bucket. Things are starting to get out of hand. It's 37-23, Lady Hornets. Let's get someone else in here. Kayla Steger was in the right place at the right time to catch the miss and score easily. That would cap off a 12-zip run, and the Lady Hornets were in command up 39-23. Not much was going right for Bighorn in the second half. Six points in the third quarter and only four in the fourth. Here's two from Alexis Blair, but her team was going to need a lot more than that. We'll show one more basket before we wrap this up because the rest of this game is not worth showing. Puckett puts in another deuce. But when the final horn sounded, Pine Bluffs had doubled up Bighorn on the scoreboard, 62-31. to 31.